Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be answering some questions about how do I make perpetual green water and why. This so will uh, get this started. So first, the reason why I keep green water. One is that it's a great first food for many micro species including the types of food that your fish like some Daphnia monia culture here a couple of these set up in the window now these tanks I don't produce the green water you can tell this is almost kind of an off brown because I need to do a water change on it the Daphnia are eating all the the green out of it this one here I just done an, a water change on and uh, it's got a pretty rich green color to it and uh, each day I can kind of go through either with my little um, turkey baster here and get out little bits of Daphnia or this little fine mesh net Uh, just a quick little swoop and I did a big harvest from this earlier but there's definitely some Daphne in there if it would focus kind of see you moving in there a little bit so the Daphne has been uh, great free food for my fish I get the Daphne by putting fresh green water in these tanks about twice a week and uh, harvesting that green water from my green water tank. Um, <clears throat> fish will also eat the green water too, so um, seems to help with the color on my guppies. But let me take you on back over to the green water tank and show you how I do it. Now that I've shown you or told you why I do it. Um, before we go any further, don't forget to like. If you like stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you'd like to see updates on uh, this culture and the other cultures that I do, fish room, stuff like that, um, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I love uh, answering questions. That's the uh, biggest reason I got into this. So, um, yeah, let's move back over to the green water tank and I'll kind of show you what I do. So here we are. Green water tank. As you can see, it is full of guppies and to kind of show you a size reference, my thumb. Some good size mamas in here. And, I don't know if we'll be able to see it here when we get to the top. Oh, get that glare out of the way. Yeah, I'll have to probably get some food here. And show you. Well, here's some coming up. But, hundreds of fry in here. At any given time, I would say that there's two to three hundred guppies in this tank. It's a... 20 gallon tall um, I do have this little hang on the back I don't have any filter media in it it's just to aerate the uh, water I'll go over that a little bit more here shortly but uh, yeah this culture I've been maintaining for about three years had a couple times during the first year that it nearly crashed on me um, and since then I've learned how to keep it healthy <clears throat> and I can do a well I did a 50% water change on this this morning I used because uh, it was getting a little bit light 
Um, I use some uh, water out of my goldfish loach tank, which was pretty high in nitrate. And that was the 50% clean water that I put in here. And that helps keep it rich. And I bet if, uh, well, we'll probably do a water test on this here in a moment. And I'll show you, but uh, nitrates are going to be pretty near zero on it, if not zero, probably non-detectable. We're pretty close there. But yeah, let me grab a test strip here real quick. And uh, stay tuned because there's a lot more to go over here. All right, so I just put a strip in the... Uh, donor water tank my goldfish tank so you can see this water uh, maybe just a little above the 50 mark there for nitrate or uh yeah night yeah what is that nitrate yep oh I'm trying to balance this all here Woo. but uh, let me grab this and let's check the one, so this is the strip from the green water tank here. And as you can see, that's, uh, you know, maybe two or three. But 50% of this water was this about eight hours ago. But just from running the light on this tank, it's also in a window. Um, it dissolves uh, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate like crazy. It also softens the water quite a bit. If I take the water out of here, let it settle, and then uh, filter the particulate out of it, um, ends up being a lot softer than the source water. Um, so yeah, as far as how I maintain this, I just uh, feed it a lot of food every day. And then if the food I'm feeding to all these guppies isn't enough, then I end up uh, adding dirty tank water from another tank. Let me see if we can, if I can show you some of the beautiful colors we get in here. I don't know if any of them are going to show up. Try this again. Oh, really. Beautiful one back here. I don't know if you'll come out front to play. Oh, here's one of the pretty boys. And anyhow, they get great color, healthy guppies. They're all fat, um, no skin problems. You don't have to worry about how green water will affect them. I probably wouldn't throw one in there right away I'd let them slowly get used to it uh, these guppies were in here before the water turned green um, so it was just kind of from it being in this window kind of started it putting this Harbor Freight grow light right over the tank that I run for at least eight hours a day um, and then <clears throat> back to the uh, aeration or the hang on back filter this is kind of a little nano filter it doesn't even really fully fit on the tank like it's supposed to but made it work and see if I can pop it open here it's been forever since I've had this open no filter media this is just purely to aerate the water and what I found happening originally in this tank um, at nighttime hours of darkness the uh, well, photosynthesis kind of works in reverse, or maybe it's a part of photosynthesis. But it creates CO2, which can, well, could potentially kill your fish. But um, what I was noticing is that I was getting about three or four fatalities a day. And every morning when I came out here in the wintertime, um, with the shorter days, the uh, guppies would all be well have their heads sticking out of the water like gasping I was like oh that doesn't seem right so added the aeration that stopped that so that helps you know just keep the little bit of oxygen in there through the night time and then 
during the day it probably helps uh, improve CO2. You could use a bubbler too. It doesn't have to be a hang on the back. I just, uh, that's what I had. So that's what I put in there. Um, trying to think of anything else I haven't covered yet. Again, if you have any questions, you know, please ask. You know, I can always make a better, longer, more thorough video on this. But on the Facebook groups, keep seeing people <clears throat> asking, you know, how do you, how do you get your green water? How do you make it? you know last how do you you know culture it successfully and i really don't have to try much with this it's a pretty simple process a little bit of the tank is in an eastern facing window you wouldn't even need that but it's helpful getting some free free light from the sun grow light this is a just a harbor freight i think they're about 22 dollars right now um about 20 dollars if you can get get a 10% discount on it but uh, yeah it's worked great for me um, this green water that comes out of here I use that for refilling my uh, my Daphnia cultures um, and it's a uh, just a never-ending never-ending supply you can see how rich this is like It's, it's thick. <laughs> you could have. Oh, is that one of my pretty boys there? Purple. <laughs> yeah. I do have some other videos on the green water tank. If you look back at my older videos, nobody seemed to watch them, so I quit making them. But uh, I do have a lot of footage on the green water tank here. Uh, back when I used to propagate banana plants from out of this tank, which I'm no longer doing. But, uh, yeah, just figured I would uh, share this. Um, I ask that you please share this whenever you see someone with a question, looking for ideas on how to manage green water. Um, yeah, share the video, even if it's on Facebook, that's where I see most people reaching out with the question on the lower left hand side of the screen you will see the playlist of my culturing videos upper left hand corner eh, just uh, who knows what you'll see there probably another one of my videos and please subscribe thanks again for watching